Today I will be talking about how economics can be a part of my everyday life. So first, if I go to like Walmart, let's say, and I see a bag of candy like three days before Halloween, it will probably be around like $11, $12, when usually I went to the store about a month ago and it was only $6. And then I go back about a week later after Halloween and it and the bag of candy that I was originally looking to buy is now about $6 back to its usual price. That is because Halloween was right around the corner, so the store knows, okay, everybody wants to buy this, let's raise the prices, so that means the, the demand would be higher and the supply would be a little lower than usual. Another example is that, let's say a clothing store, example, um, what would we say, Hollister, example, if one of their, if a couple of their supply trucks aren't running before school, then the demand will be lower, the demand will be higher, and therefore the prices will raise and the supply will be lower.